What's up guys, Just Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a day dose of transfer gossip. Today is Thursday, the 7th of June, and we've got a fair amount to cover today, including a lot of confirmed stuff at the very beginning, guys. So as always, before we start, if you smash 1,000 fires likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you do my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content, and in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors, rumors I should do in the next episode. And if you missed yesterday's videos, let me down below in that description box, guys, the second video, Actually went up really late, it was like quarter to 11. So if you missed that, make sure you go check it out. Remember the schedule is 8 a.m. is transfers and 9 to 10 p.m. usually is the second video of the day. So let's start off then with the confirmed deals. And first up, we've got a second signing in two days for Swansea City and a second Dutch player in fact as well. That is going to be Mike van der Horn joining the club for 2.13 million pounds from Ajax. I believe the rumor of this one started around this time last week. And one thing about Swansea City, I'll leave a picture on the screen right now. Their kit for next season is so damn nice in my opinion. And now we've gone to Rob Green, the former England international and former West down goalkeeper etc has joined Leeds United now on a free transfer from QPR. His contract expired at the end of last month then obviously became a free agent and now has joined Leeds United like I said on a free transfer and I think that's the second signing in two days after yesterday getting a Sacco from Sporting on a loan deal. Then we go into playing on FIFA for the team that's going to be a Wandro I think his name is joining Udinese from Sao Paulo for £2.55 million. He was last on like FIFA 14 but he's only like 17 years old back then but he was a silver back then so I'm assuming will be nice for a silver now. Uh, then we go into Jerry Bogger this time, a Chelsea youngster going on loan to Granada in the Liga BVA uh, for the whole season. He's the second Chelsea youngster to go on loan to a Spanish club in the last couple of weeks. Obviously, Masonda has gone to Real Betis for a second spell. And they, talk about Real Betis, they've actually signed now a Chilean centre midfielder called Felipe Gutierrez from FC Twente for £2.98 million. And now we've gone to Kevin Nolan, a player everyone will know at uh, the former West Ham. Newcastle United and also obviously Bolton Wanderers mainly and um, the former midfielder was initially a player manager at uh, Leighton Orient I think it was and now is no longer at the club. A new five-star skiller has transferred that is going to be Mohamed El Yunusi the Norwegian going to FC Basel from I think it's Molde in uh, I can't remember what league that is possibly the Tipper Lagan and um, the fee is around 2.72 million pounds and that's quite a cool one for fee for ultimate team. Then we go on to Matt Phillips completely switch to West Bromwich Albion. That is from QPR for £5.5 million around that fee after they agreed it yesterday. Then we go on to Sebastian De Maio this time, a French centre back going to Anderlecht from uh, Genoa for £2.55 million. Now we move on to Kevin Dix, as literally his name. The Dutchman has gone to Fiorentina from Vitesse for £2.13 million. We go on to Alfred and Dye this time, a CDM, I think I would upgrade initially was a silver, then got a gold card, going to Villarreal for quite a big fee of £6.8 million. And I imagine Imagine the Chilean sentiment for they signed earlier, uh, which I covered just a second ago, Felipe Gutierrez from FC Twente. I imagine it could be another replacement, but uh, they, they're kind of starting to use the money they got for Ndai. Then we go on to Emmanuel Mamana today, drawing Leon from, I think it's River Plate, for £7.65 million. Pounds. Apparently this guy's a massive prospect as Chelsea were linked him before, but it looks like Leon have won the race. They've also signed Nkulu the other day from uh, Marseille. Then we go on to Diego Jota today, confirm this switch at Atletico Madrid, although it was done a few months ago. That's from Paco de Ferreira on a five-year deal, and again, this will be fully announced. We go on to Ava Benega. I covered this probably about two weeks ago. It was all done and dusted, but it took uh, this long for Inter Milan to confirm themselves from Sevilla on a three-year deal, and again, it's all been announced. Free transfer for him. Uh, then finally, we got to Herring Mikatari, and again, I covered it about three days ago now. It was all announced and stuff by Borussia Dortmund, but it took until yesterday for United to actually announce him as a player. It's a four-year contract for him and a very good signing for United. And now we go on to potential deals, and first up, we've got Leon Osman, the current free agent, the former Everton man, linked to Leeds United, according to The Express. So they are saying that Leeds United are interested in the former Everton midfielder Leon Osman, who is 35 years old. Osman is a free agent after being released by the Toffees this summer, and I mean, he's got a lot of experience, but his age, it could put the deal off a little bit. But I suppose teams do need that experience and it could be very good for that. Then we got on to Nick Powell today. The, the guy that was once dubbed a massive wonder kid when he was at Crew, then obviously he went to United and things are kind of gone downhill from there and today linked to Wolves. I don't mean any disrespect by the way to Wolves but this guy is kind of expected to be a United starter, uh, a United star as well probably at this point of his career. I know he's still very young, 1994, the same age as me basically um, but I'm just saying that right now he's kind of not gone to the level people expected. That's what I was trying to get across but today Wolves are linked according to Express and the Daily Star. And on our screen right now is going to be Emre Chan but it's not about Emre Chan, it's about Jurgen Klopp, the Liverpool manager. And apparently now, according to Liverpool Echo and multiple other reliable sources, Liverpool have offered Jurgen Klopp a new contract extension. Klopp's current contract lasts until 2018, so it's got a long, long time left on that. But apparently FSG have offered him a new deal because he's been very impressed with what he's done in the last nine months. And Sky Sports added on top of that, saying the owners want to avoid any doubt or debate about Jurgen Klopp's future at the club. Although I'm not going to lie, I don't think there's any debate whatsoever about his future so far. 
Then we go on to Blazikowski today, linked to his former manager, Jurgen Klopp, at Liverpool. So then, Dortmund's sporting director has come and said that Blazikowski is currently a Borussia Dortmund player. We'll talk in the next few days about his future. Last season, he was out on loan to Fiorentina in the Serie A. I think he picked up a few injuries here and there. And obviously, Jurgen Klopp, he loved him when he was at Dortmund before. And say apparently, according to Bild, we could get him for just five to seven million euros. And as a squad or a backup player, I'd definitely take him for that fee. Then we go on to Bakayoko today, linked to Manchester United from AS Monaco. So according to France Football, having signed for the Ligue 1 club in 2014, the 21-year-old has only been able to make 22 appearances, casting doubt over his future. The report also adds that Bakayoko is considering proposals from Stoke City and Southampton, who are also interested in the France under-21 defensive midfielder, according again to France Football. But no fee has been mentioned as of yet. Then we go on to Kalinic today, the Croatian striker linked to Premier League champions Leicester City from Fiorentina. The agent of Fiorentina striker Kalinic has confirmed found that Premier League champions Leicester City are interested in the player services. So the first part of the quote says, it is true, we are aware of interest from Leicester City. And it goes on to say, it's all open, there is no rush, as the transfer market has only just begun. He did score a very good goal for Croatia against Spain, I think it was, in their final group game. Then we got to Charles and Zogby today. Apparently he's trading currently with Sunderland after becoming a free agent. Apparently he's still open to what club he joins, but given the fact he's currently training with the club, that kind of, to me at least, gives an indication they could definitely join them. Then we go on to Victor Valles. This is, this is quite a shock one. I wasn't aware of it whatsoever, but apparently he's agreed to join Middlesbrough. So while it hasn't been formally announced as of yet, Sky Sports Spanish football expert in quotation marks, I wouldn't really consider it that, uh, but Guillaume Balaguer has tweeted that Victor Valles' move to Middlesbrough is done and will just a medical to take place tomorrow. His tweet reads that Victor Valles is a new Borough player and his medical will be tomorrow. So that's a big one for them, a very good coup and a very big name player. Then we got on to Roman Van Persie, another player linked to Middlesbrough. So this is according to Daily Mail. They're saying the Borough are in the market for a striker, or Fenerbahce have said they'll listen to offers for the 32-year-old. And uh, I mean, they're in for the form of Manchester United striker. That'd be ridiculous. Karanka is looking to boost his squad and the return to the Premier League next season. And Van Persie is said to be a player that interests them. I was aware that Fenerbahce wanted to get rid of him, but I wasn't aware that Middlesbrough were a team actually linked to him. So if he goes there, I mean, that'd be quite a crazy one in terms of uh, like a name to a club and a fair play if they get him. Then we go on to Gokhan Tour today, linked to West Ham. This could be the player that I think it Jack Sullivan was tweeted about yesterday. I quickly want to point out about Van Persie. If Middlesbrough do get him, they, every club needs a goal scorer. And if they have one at the bottom of the table, like Sunderland had with Jermaine Defoe, it's uh, kind of the difference between getting relegated and staying up. So that one, in my opinion, would be absolutely huge for them. Then back on to Gokhan Tour today. Apparently, according to uh, breaking news, they've agreed a loan deal for him. It could be announced today. The clubs have agreed a season-long loan with a view to a permanent deal. So that'd be a very good signing for them. I think he felt out of favour maybe at uh, Besiktas uh, but before, but apparently the, the permanent basis would be around £10 million. Then we go on to Carlos Tevez today, linked back to West Ham. So loads of places have been saying this, but I'm reading now of Sky Sports. They said that West Ham have tried and failed to sign Carlos Tevez according to Sky Sources. The club have offered him a £150,000 a week contract to be their first choice striker next season, but co-chairman David Sullivan has confirmed that Tevez wanted 250k a week to return to the club. So £150,000 a week would have made him the highest paid player in the club's history. But apparently Sullivan, although he's been a little bit disappointed as of right now, he remains confident a deal can be done. So the quote from Sullivan in the Daily Mirror says that we tried to get Tevez he wanted £250,000 a week. In his last year at Juventus, he was great, but £250,000 a week? He'll probably stay where he is now, but he doesn't pay a lot of tax down there. And whilst we're on the topic of tax, you probably realise that Lionel Messi has been done for tax evasion. Apparently it's a 21 month suspended sentence, which means that, I'm pretty sure it means anyway, don't quote me on this, but I think it means if he does it again, he will have to serve that time. But as of right now, he's kind of fine. And it kind of shows if you have a lot of money in life, like a footballer money, um, you can get away with a lot of things in life, which isn't really fantastic, but either way, uh, life goes on. Then we got to Kaidu Koulibaly today linked to Chelsea again. So Chelsea is set to offer 40 million euros which is 34.2 million pounds for the Napoli centre-back Koulibaly according to reports in Sport Italia. The Senegal international is set to leave the Italian club this summer and newly appointed Chelsea boss Antonio Conte is reported to have instructed the Blues to sign him whilst he's there away with Italy. Although I imagine he'll start his time with Chelsea very soon given the fact that Italy were knocked out by Germany. Then we got to Ala Turan today linked to uh, Borussia Dortmund from Barcelona. So according to sources in Turkey and Germany they've actually identified Turan as a possible replacement for Henrik Mkhitaryan. Ada Turan had struggled for regular first team opportunities since trading Atletico Madrid for Barcelona and that could boost Dortmund's chances of signing the Turkey captain. Sport report Turan's friendship with Borussia Dortmund midfielder Nuri Sahin could also help the Bundesliga Giants in their bid to persuade him to switch clubs. And now we've got a very quick update regarding Vincent Janssen who is a Tottenham target this summer. So apparently Eze Alkmaar's sporting director has 
rubbish reports Tottenham are close to signing the striker. Spurs did have a bid rejected last week of £15 million and several reports in British media claim that Mauricio Pochettino, their side is very close to bringing Janssen to White Hart Lane. However, the sporting director of Alkmaar has said there is a lot of speculation and I've read recently a lot of nonsense stories. So to summarise his next few quotes in like a, quite a short period, um, he basically says we have received a bid from Spurs, it was rejected and since then we've not heard anything back from them. And now we move on to Bastian Schweinsteiger and today linked to Paris Saint-Germain according to Build. They said that PSG had their eye on Manchester United midfielder Bastian Schweinsteiger as they look to bring a new leader on the pitch following Zlatan Ibrahimovic's departure to United. And PSG have been very busy so far, signing the likes of Ben Arthur, Kuchoviak and also Munier. And they've also signed that Argentine youngster that I covered yesterday. Then we got to Nemanja Matic today linked to Juventus. And the final four rumours are actually based around Juventus other players going in or players leaving. So first up, Nemanja Matic linked to them from Chelsea. So according to Sports Italia, Juventus are reportedly reading a €20 million Euro bid, which is £17 million, for Chelsea midfielder Nemanja Matic. Reoccurring injuries to Claudio Marchese and also the German international Sami Kadira have forced the Serie A champions to consider bolstering their midfield options this summer. The Serbian international appears to be the main target for Juve this summer and the director is working on a deal that sees Matic, who is under contract at Chelsea until 20. 19, make the switch to Turin. And another player from Chelsea linked to Juventus is going to be Juan Cuadrado, who was actually on loan there last season. So Juve are on talks to Chelsea for a permanent deal for Juan Cuadrado, according to our colleagues at Sky in Italy. That's obviously how Sky Sports have worded it. The Colombian international, who was on loan at Juve last season, wants to remain in Turin as Serie A champions want to buy him. They offered £1.7 million for the first year loan, apparently £19 million at the end of the season to make the move a permanent basis. Chelsea would like to get more out of this because apparently Conte does want to keep him at the club for next season. They also mentioned about the Matic deal, apparently Conte also also wants to keep Matic, so both of them could remain at Chelsea for next season. Then we go on to Leonardo Benucci today. Apparently, the uh, Juve rejected a bid from Man City. So this is according to Sky Sports News in Italy and also England, and also Gianluca De Marzo. So they're saying that Manchester City have seen a 45 million euro bid for Juve centre-back Leonardo Benucci rejected. The Serie A champions are unwilling to sell the Italian international, which is understandable, but I think... Money can talk. So for English viewers, that's around £38 million at this point in time. Apparently Pep Guardiola wants to add to the players he's already signed in Ilki Gundogan, Nelita, and also I think it's Zinchenko. And to end things today then, we've got a huge one, some breaking news regarding Paul Pogba to Manchester United. So this news was broken around 11 p.m. last night and it's so, so many Italian journalists that will like verify and stuff have all said it, including Sky Sports Italia. So Tancredi Palmieri, it's the guy that a lot of memes are made out of and uh, vines and stuff. He said, all confirmed, Manchester United reached an agreement with Paul Pogba for 13 million euros a year in wages. And they will now bid 120 million euros to get him back to Old Trafford. So obviously a few years ago, probably about four or five years ago now, he went to Juve on a free and now they're paying 120 million euros for him. But it would make him the most expensive player ever, over 100 million pounds. And another Italian journalist is going to be Fabrizio Romano. He is saying United are planning to offer again 120 million euros after Euro 2016. So despite Juve always having the stance, they don't want to sell their main man, Paul Pogba. I mean, if he's already agreed a contract with United, like a terms and stuff, this one could be very hard for them to keep him. As I imagine right now, it's very easy for Pogba to push through a new move or potentially get himself a new contract at Juve, increasing his wage even more. And Juve could have to match that wage offer by United potentially to keep him. So that is some huge news today. And we've got a lot of potential rumours and also the confirmed stuff at the beginning. It's been quite a, a jam-packed day. So that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. 1,500 likes would be absolutely awesome. If you'd my channel, class the subscribe button for daily feed for content. In the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumours, rumours I shoot in the next episode. Remember, my previous videos will be down below in that description box. I did upload very late last night and the schedule is 8 a.m. transfers, 9 to 10 p.m. around that time is the second video of the day, guys. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.